There are many people, especially uh, atheists and other secularists, who accuse uh, Christianity, again, of being in league with Hitler because they could say Hitler was a Christian, and, and how do they know that? Well, the way they know that is because Hitler said he was a Christian, and of course he wouldn't uh, lie to us about something as important as his religion. Uh, however, if you look at what Hitler said privately, what we find out is that he was constantly criticizing Christianity and speaking negatively of it. And all of his associates agree on that. If you read Goebbels' diaries or Rosenberg's diaries, some of his closest associates, if you read his memoirs of his secretary, uh, or if you read his monologues that have uh, been published as well, and the German editions of his monologues are accurate. Some people deny the authenticity of the English translation of his monologues, but the monologues in German are authentic, and they're very anti-Christian. He spoke constantly about religion in those monologues that were done during World War II. So in private, he was constantly bashing Christianity. There actually are some public places where he did too. In uh, the second volume of Mein Kampf, he once calls Christianity a spiritual terror that took over from the far freer ancient world, he said. Uh, but then he also persecuted Christianity and tried to whittle away its influence wherever he could once he came to power. Uh, so I, I, can't, I don't have time to give lots of examples, but one example was uh, during World War II, uh, he, would send, he ordered that all of the chaplains should be placed as far forward in the battlefront as possible with the <laughs> intent of trying to get them all killed off, essentially. And then when he drew up uh, plans for rebuilding German cities after World War II, no churches. So he was doing whatever he could to try to whittle away at the influence of Christianity without becoming too unpopular. He knew it was unpopular. He couldn't just, you know, just decimate the churches in one fell swoop. That would be too unpopular. But he did whatever he thought he could get away with in undermining Christianity.